In the story of the fall, Genesis chapters 2 and 3, the first humans eat from the forbidden tree. As a result, they can see their own nakedness. God jumps in to cover their nakedness, and some curses are pronounced. After the flood, Genesis chapter 9, Noah drinks wine and his nakedness is seen. Then his nakedness is covered, and again a curse is pronounced. Interesting, isn't it? Eating or drinking, nakedness is seen, nakedness is covered, curse is pronounced. Same elements in both stories. It looks like the first fall, Adam's fall, is paralleled by a new fall, Noah's fall. In Genesis 4 and 5, we find the genealogies of Adam's sons. Cain's genealogy is rebellious. Abel was killed before he could have any descendants. But Seth's genealogy is faithful and contains ten generations from Adam to Noah. In Genesis 10 and 11, we find the genealogies of Noah's sons. Ham is rebellious. Both Shem and Japheth seem to be in good standing. And in Shem's genealogy, there are 10 generations from Noah to Terah. Wow! Genesis 6. The sons of God marry the daughters of men. And that's really bad. So much so that it triggers God's intervention of justice to the flood. Likewise, in Genesis 11, something really bad happens at the Tower of Babel, and that again prompts divine justice. God confuses people's languages and scatters them. Hmm. Can you see how this proto-history of the first 11 chapters of Genesis is organized? Creation is paralleled by uncreation or a new creation, both followed by divine blessings. The fall of Adam and Eve is paralleled by the fall of Noah. The genealogies of Adam's sons are paralleled to the genealogies of Noah's sons. In both cases, one of the three is rebellious. In both sections, there's a point in which sin elicits divine justice. Then Noah and his three sons parallel Terah and his three sons. Fascinating design, isn't it? And here's the most fascinating element. At the end of each section, there's someone to continue the direct line all the way down to the Messiah. First Shem, and then Abraham. They both are types, types of the Messiah. Shalom.